I joined to uh, the FCCJ for providing you know, this opportunity here today. Uh, taking this opportunity, first of all, I would like to deeply apologize uh, for uh, tremendous inconvenience and anxiety uh, for the people, uh, all the people, and then people of Fushima in particular. Chairman and I uh, visited Fushima on the very first day. Uh, we spent the first four days uh, to meet uh, the governor of Fushima Prefecture and uh, 13 mayors of uh, cities, towns, and villages where their patrons are forced to evacuation from their homes. We also spent uh, a little bit of time uh, with the people evacuating uh, and they, they, they escaped from Shuma to Saitama Prefecture. They are living in an uh, old uh, high school building. What we heard from the Bay and the those people, uh, among other things, that uh, they want they want swift compensation. They, they also express their fear and anxiety to the uh, situation of Shima uh, nuclear plants. Uh, let me tell you our story, uh, for example. Uh, when I when we visited uh, Shima City um, during the meeting an aspect took place. The local people asked, uh, I'll ask, I said, uh, spent a little proof of Shima Unit number four in Iowa. They wonder where the uh, gas station, uh, where the big gas station, where the nearest gas station. So the, the, you know, the aftershocks uh, continues. There, there are several hours. Every time they feel that kind of thing. So that's very uh, shocking. And uh, that's why I left, uh, uh, a few days after that, I visited Fushima Daiichi uh, nuclear power station from ours. So I introduced that story, that uh, Ashton story, and I asked them to be more conscious uh, to how people outside the power station feel and worries about uh, uh, the plant condition every day rather seriously. And then ask them to uh, provide information about the power station, uh, situation of the power uh, station as much as possible. Of course, the uh, stable power supply is a uh, job number one because we are the power uh, as you may know that uh, assessment will be soon released and uh, it's going to be, it seems to be rather severe for us. So we have to reduce our cut by streamlining our operation uh, seriously. I, I understand that you have read um, so-called uh, so called the comprehensive uh, special uh, uh, special business plans, uh, in which there are many, many things to do listed in the plan. So I think it's um, rather clear on what we should do, what we have to do. So the, the focus is on uh, to how we how can we best achieve these goals and implement those plans? Of course, that, uh, the main actors and the actresses who implement uh, those plans are members of my company, members of my, our subsidiary companies. 
So I think it's crucially important to maintain a very high level of motivation. And uh, instill a very strong sense of responsibility. Uh, I think it is my job to make every effort to bring them together uh, to achieve these goals and targets. It's also very working that it very important is that uh, any Tokyo Electric Power Company has to be more uh, conscious and more sensitive to how, the, uh, how our customers and uh, society perceive us. We have to make every effort and then um, take into serious consideration for uh, our customers' criticisms and opinions uh, and then incorporate them into our management of our, our daily operations. Someday, that, uh, in, the, in the very near future, the people, our customers, our society uh, will be convinced that Petrol is changing. And to this end, I do my best. Thank you very much. That's the reason, exactly, uh, an excellent question. That's the reason why they're trying to pull that out right now is because they don't know what it, what it would look oh. like. There's debris in that pool, and that's one of the questions that they're trying to answer is, how is, is the new fuel damage? New fuel damage is bad for, for a lot of reasons. Uh, it's, highly, it's highly reactive. It is possible to, it's easier, it's easier to go critical on that than it is to go critical yeah, on some fuels. About 100,000 people are still forced to live in evacuation shelters and temporary housing due to radioactive fallout from last year's nuclear accident here in Japan. The government has compiled new guidelines to speed up compensation claims addressed to the plant's operator, Tokyo Electric Power Company. The guidelines say evacuees who cannot return home for at least six years should be paid the full value of their houses. They also recommend setting compensation for old properties to at least 20% of their initial value. People who lost their job or business in the evacuation should receive a lump sum adjusted to their line of work. The compensation process has been delayed by differences between evacuee claims and the amounts the utility was willing to pay. TEPCO says it will present next week a new set of compensation standards that reflect the government's guidelines. Well, it looks like foreign visitors are coming back to Japan. The number of these travelers topped the levels before last year's disaster for the first time in June. The Japan National Tourism Organization says an estimated 686,600 people visited Japan from other countries for tourism or business last month. That's up 1.4 percent from June two years ago, before the earthquake and the Fukushima nuclear accident in March of last year. Officials say more visitors arrived from five Asian countries, including China and Thailand. They do note that tours using large cruise ships have become pretty popular in China. On the other hand, travelers from South Korea declined by about 15 percent. They are still the largest group, though, of people coming to Japan from one country. Officials say South Korean people apparently remain pretty worried about the effects of the nuclear accident. Officials say South Korean people apparently remain pretty worried about the effects of the nuclear accident.
money make a rich man feel like a big man. It make a poor man feel like a hooligan, a one-parent family feels like a ruffian, and those who have it won't give you anything. Money makes your friend become your enemy. You start seeing things very superficially. Your life is lived very artificially, unlike those who live in poverty. Money inflates your ego, but money brings you down. Money causes problems anywhere money is found. Food is what we need. Food is necessary. Let me grow my food and then can eat their money. Money can save us, but yet we feel doomed. Plenty money burns in a nuclear mushroom. Money can't make you happy. Money can help you when you die. And those who have it continually live a lie. Children are dying. Spies are spying. Refugees are fleeing. Politicians are lying. And deals are done. And webs are spun. Loans keep the third world on the run. And the brother feels better than the brother next door. Because his brother's got money and his brother's got more. And the brother thinks a brother's not a brother because he's poor. When the brother kills the other, that is economic war. Economic war, we call it economic. Well, it may not be the East and the West anymore, but the North and the South, Third World, fall out. Coffee and oil, that's what it's about. Economic war, economic war, shots fired from the stock market floor, so we work for a living, or we try and we try, with so little time for chilling like we're living a lie. Money makes a dream become reality. Money makes real life like a fantasy. Money has a habit of going to the head. I have some for a rainy day underneath my bed. Money problems make it hard to relax. Money makes it difficult to get down to the facts. Money makes you worship vanity and lies. Money is a drug with legal eyes. The parents are hoping, some are not coping, some are just managing books, need balancing, property is theft. No, money means death. You pay for your rent and then nothing left. Some will pick a pocket. Some appear to stop it. Those who appear to stop it, they're happy because they got it. Some go out and fight for it. Some claim they have the right to it. And people like my grandparents live long but never sight it. Money made me go out and rob. Then it made me go looking for a job. Money made a nurse and a doctor immigrate. Money buys friends you love to hear. Money made slavery seem all right. Money brought the Bible and the Bible shone the light. Victory to the penniless at grassroots sources. We come to mash down market forces. The paper giant called market forces. Guys, I just want to remind you that uh, Miss Milky the Clown channel, uh, they've got, well, I've got two strikes on my account, so I'm switching over to Miss Milky the Clown 1. Um, same spelling and everything, just add a number one after it. If you would, please subscribe over there if you want to keep up on the Fukushima updates.